This video will let you know about the library resources and services that are available to you as an Empire State College student. The Empire State College Library is an entirely online library, so that all of its resources are available to you wherever you live and whenever you have time to access them. We, we currently have four full-time professional degreed librarians. They are Dana Longley, Heather Shaloub, Sarah Hall, and myself, Sarah Morehouse. The most direct way to get to the Empire State College Library is to enter www.esc.edu slash library into your browser. You can also access the library from a tab inside your online course or through My ESC. If you start out at My ESC, click the Learning Support tab. Under the Learning Support tab, the library header is on the top right side of the page. Click the Online Library link. That takes you to the Online Library website. It is divided into three columns. The column on the left is for finding library research materials. The middle column is for news and how-to information. The right column has our reference chat box and other reference contact information. You can use that to ask us questions any time of the day or night. At the top, there are tabs for home, where we currently are, new users, graduate students, faculty, about the library, and help. I'm going to show you the help tab now. As its name suggests, this is the place to find out how to use the library and do research. It doesn't matter if you're a complete beginner right now, because that's where everybody starts. And if you already know how to do college research, we're here for you too. We answer faculty research questions too. One thing everybody needs sooner or later is help citing your sources. All college assignments where you draw upon the work of other authors will need to have citations, and those citations will need to be used in the right places and formatted in the right way in APA, MLA, or some other style. So if you need help with that, click Cite Your Sources. The Research Skills tutorial walks you through every stage of a college research project. Library Self-Help is a page full of videos and handouts explaining how to use the databases and other basic library and research skills. The Library FAQ is a searchable resource of common questions. And the tour of the online library shows you how to navigate the library website, but in more depth than this video does. You can also sign up for library workshops that help you with different phases of library research like searching databases or citing your sources. These are delivered online in the evenings. On the right side of the Help tab, just like on almost all library web pages, is the chat box. It has two different modes, and it is currently showing the nights and weekends mode. We now participate in a program with college libraries around the world so that we can offer chat reference 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Our librarians answer your questions Monday through Thursday 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., Friday 9 to 5, and Sunday 1 to 9. During regular hours, you can also call us at 800-847-3000, extension 2222, and you can always use the web form at www.esc.edu slash askalibrarian or email librarian at esc.edu. Here is the chat box in daytime mode. When it looks like this, it means an Empire State College librarian is available. You can ask for help with any stage of the research process, from narrowing down your topic, to searching for resources, to finding a specific book or article, to understanding research concepts like scholarly sources or primary sources, to citing your sources. If the databases appear to be down, or if you have problems logging into the database, we can help with that too. The things we can't help with are problems with your online course, your college login, particular software, getting your textbooks, tutoring, or writing help. But if you're stuck, we can connect you to people who can help you with that. For the last part of this video, I'd like to give you a very quick overview of the information sources we have. As I mentioned before, they're all electronic. We have millions of journal articles, magazine articles, newspaper articles, and special document types that are used in different kinds of research. We have a collection of ebooks, and you can talk to a librarian about getting access to print books via libraries that are close enough for you to go to. We also have a sizable collection of educational videos and art and architecture images. 
On the library homepage, there are links for article databases, books, newspapers, and multimedia. You can click any of those to go to an alphabetical list of databases that search for those kinds of resources. In that list of databases, you'll see that most databases have a link in their description to a tutorial on how to use that particular database. Also on the library homepage, there is a link for subject guides. If you click it, it expands to show an alphabetical list of all our subject guides. I'm clicking the Business Management and Economic Subject Guide link. That list has subject guides for all of our areas of study, and each one has tabs for journal articles, ebooks, reference materials, multimedia, and special document types. There are useful how-to videos embedded in the tabs as well. And again, there is a library chat box embedded in each of the tabs so you can get help. Back on the library homepage, there is the OneSearch search box. This tool searches almost all of our databases that have text-based resources, so journal and magazine articles, newspaper articles, ebooks, and special document types, but not images and videos. This is a good place to begin your search, and for some multidisciplinary topics, it may be a good place to search in general. However, you'll be able to get more precision in the individual databases. This has been a very surface level and hurried tour of the online library, but I hope it is enough to let you know that we have the materials you need for your assignments and research projects, and we can help you learn to find and process information for practical, professional, and scholarly purposes with the ultimate goal of creating and sharing new knowledge of your own. We look forward to working with you.